three, two, one. Hello in YouTube land. Hello to my fellow subscribers. Hello to the people returning to the channel. Thanks for watching my channel. Um, this is part two to the introduction of the eight pack of Avengers Endgame action figures. I actually picked this uh, set up at Target because it was the cheapest option. Uh, you could get this from Toy Wiz, Mercari, or other various sites that I've seen it as high as a hundred and eighty dollars for this set. I've seen it for a hundred and sixty. I've seen it for a hundred and twenty-five, and you can get it at Target for about seventy-nine plus tax. So seventy-nine works out to about ten dollars a figure. Now, if you buy these figures separately, you're gonna pay ten bucks a piece. Plus shipping if you got to order them online. So it's actually a good deal. And it helps you um, avoid hunting these down everywhere. You just get like a big set and you got them all. If you were planning to buy these. Now, there are two sets out there that have, uh, like one has Captain Marvel and uh, Star-Lord. The higher price point Star-Lord. But it doesn't come with the Power FX pack so they could talk. And uh, I'm not sure who's in the other four pack. And I don't know if those are Target releases or some other stores got those as an exclusive. But if you go on eBay, you can find sellers selling both packs together or separately at about $40 a piece. But they don't have these figures themselves. They're, it's a totally different uh, package. Uh, some have the ones from Infinity War. So what you're looking at is Nebula right there. You're, you're like wondering, wow, look, they actually made a Nebula. Yes. There you go. Karen Gillan, Nebula. You see the copper plates on her? There's Thor. Iron Man. War Machine with a new paint job. Of course, the Hulk. You've seen my review on the Hulk. You, oh, yeah, I think I did one on the Hulk. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, there's my uh, Black Widow that came in the pack. See, this one's not touched. I didn't uh, modify her. The one I have, actually, I, I ground her out with the Dremel so she could sit down better. I'm not going to touch these. Nebula has the same body as uh, Black Widow. They just made a new head for her, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I wish they had a variant of her. And then there's Captain America. His... Uh, Wrist is a little tight. I put armor all in it, and I heated it up with a hot air gun. So when it cools off, it should uh, loosen up. It's a little warm right now, so I had to turn on the AC. And, of course, there's Thor, but he's not uh, fat. <laughs> so these are all the time travel uh, guys. Uh, I guess they developed these before the movie came out. Oh, yeah, and, and look at down here. Rocket Raccoon. The new sculpt, Rocket Raccoon. He's hard to find along with Valkyrie, but if you look at uh, certain stores, you might find like one or the other. Uh, Valkyrie is down here. I'll show you here. Look. There's Valkyrie. But yeah, uh, she goes more with the uh, Ragnarok Thor and Ragnarok Hulk. But this is a new scope of, of uh, Rocket Raccoon. They had the original Guardians of the Galaxy rocket, and then they had the repaint of the same mold because they didn't think it was going to make any money. And then, of course, they made one that looks more like the character in the film, voiced by Bradley Cooper. Face from the 18. But yeah, uh, the gem from this box set is uh, Nebula. She is pretty cool. Uh, there's time travel cap. They did not... You know, for the price, they should have supplied at least a shield for them. And the voice packs, the Titan voice packs. It would have been a real bargain then. But, you know, it's weird, Hasbro. Like, look, you don't need to sculpt these things into the arm. They're not, they're totally like, sub, you know, take away from the sculpt. The figures already have, here, I'll show you, the power effects port in the back. Why put it on the arm? It looks just, it looks weird, see? Who decided that was a good idea? Now, that's strange. 
Anyway, uh, when they had the Guardians of the Galaxy set at Target, uh, you could get uh, Drax the Destroyer in that one. Uh, when they had the, what was it, the Aquaman one, you could get, uh, there was an exclusive figure in there. I think it was like a Atlantean soldier or something. Uh, so yeah, Target's been getting exclusive figures, but I don't know if uh, this is, it didn't say Target exclusive. Because I've seen it on other websites. So, yeah, uh, Hasbro is selling these to whoever wants to carry them, I think. They're not really exclusive. I have not seen these pop up on Amazon. I wish they would, re you know, give her a new body and make her look just like in the film. Without that weird arm. Use the same head and sell her by herself. It would be, you know, a lot of collectors would buy a lot of those. Now, you can get the Sideshow Toys version, but you're going to pay more than what I paid for this set. And, of course, that's a repainted War Machine there. If I can pick him up. Yeah, see? He's got, like, gray and red versus the one uh, that's a single release, which is hard to find also. Found, that, found him at the HEB stores, so... You have an H-E-B grocery store, go find them there. Oh, look, Captain Phasma's back there. You see her? Right there. <laughs> anyway, this is a great set. Uh, if you can afford it, buy it. Uh, the toys are just going to go up because of the embargo with China. They're going to have, they're having a holiday. Uh, I forgot what day it is. Uh, so the tariff's going to affect either on that day or after. So the, I, I'm predicting these toys will go up in price the, just to buy them in the store. So save your money and try to get one, you know. And it's also on Target.com on the website. You can do site to store and you'll be able to get this set. But if you're a fan of the Avengers characters, you know, before Phase 4 kicks in the high gear, pick this set up. I highly recommend it. It's really cool. If you like Nebula, this is where you can get her right now. I don't know if Hasbro decided to sell her separately somewhere else. Not sure. But she's pretty nice. I made a custom Nebula in one of my videos from a, from a Gamora figure. I sculpted the head differently. Uh, look at that in my video library. And uh, I guess that's it, folks. Uh, you know, same articulation, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed hips. But Hasbro has still not made articulated uh, elbows or knees, which they could put to these figures. And the girl's hands don't turn at the wrist either, like Cap over there, which hopefully will loosen up over time. But, uh, yeah, that's the eight-pack right now of Avengers Endgame action figures. And as always, folks, uh, I'm wishing everyone tons of positive love and energy no matter what part of the world you live in. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll catch you on the next video. So, Mondo signing out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.